If you don't take the packaging off like this, I don't trust you. I just, I don't understand why companies would name products with curse words in them. Listen, one of my favorite words to say is okay, let's be honest, okay? I use frick a lot too because I have a kid and I have to watch my mouth because if he says it, I know where he got it from. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonia and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the most, I'm gonna say the most popular, it's harassing everybody. Just kidding. Who has the most Instagram ads in the history of Instagram? <laughs> Il Maquillage. This video is not sponsored, okay? Lord. What? Free? 14 days? All right, all right. I'll do a video. Why not? And then I'll send it back if I don't like it. I'm going to get into that. Don't forget to like, turn on, so subscribe to this channel if you have not already joined my family, girl. And let's get started. First and foremost, we're going to take the quiz that they recommend on their website, which it's really quick. Hopefully I don't take five years to read every step, but it's only a few questions and this is going to help determine your perfect shade. So that's step one and let's do that together. What's your skin type combination? What kind of coverage are you craving? I'm going to say natural. Now that they have the type of foundation that I'm looking for, we're going to do this color match next. Okay, so out of all these options, I'm going to say I am medium. I'm like number three, one, two, and the last one, hmm, maybe number two. Now let's figure out your undertone. I'm going to say I'm balanced and neutral. Tan but burn if you stay in the sun too long. That is literally me. I am olive for life. Every time I go in the sun, I am a little lobster. Not fair, because my sisters get golden brown. They are super dark and <laughs> what about me? During this time of year, does your skin tone tend to get darker or lighter, girl? Well, maybe kissed gently by the sun, not like a full MAC down, so I'm gonna say darker. A moisturizer, oops, and I do a primer. How often do you wear a foundation? Girl, if I'm not filming, I'm looking like a crazy ass mess. Two to four times a week. The brand I'm currently using is from It Cosmetics. Maybe less than six months. What are your biggest skin concerns? We're not even friends yet, hold on. I would say wrinkles and fine lines, sometimes greasy and oily, and maybe a large pores. What are your skincare goals? I want to decrease the fine lines without injections because I'm a weenie. Even in bright and the dark spots because they're taking over. Get glowy, hydrated skin, yes. Minimize pores and texture. Which skincare products are totally non-negotiable in your routine? Moisturizer, for sure. Sunscreen, mm, and lip balm because I have the crustiest lips in town. My baby daddy makes fun of me about them all the time. Which of your current skincare products could use a revamp? According to my esthetician, that's a hard word to say, the girl, the girl that cleans my face, um, she said I need to exfoliate. Do you like looking tan? Uh, yeah. I can't do it though. What's your, you know what? Ask all these damn personal, okay, all right, fine. 36 to 50 now. I'm like, how do I feel? Like 21, 25 ish? Okay, now they're gonna, I guess they're gonna email it to me. Okay, so when it comes in the mail, it comes in this black bubble wrap or envelope, and you have the box here. So when you open up your box, you're gonna see the products that you've ordered, whether that be the primer, the foundation, um, the concealer, or anything else that they have on their website. I don't know, because I was just interested in the foundation, and then they kind of like suggested. I'm like the weakest person. Don't suggest anything, because I'm like, okay, yeah, they're in the bag. Um, especially if it's free, and you can try it, why not, you know? Information, the two products, and some like crinkly paper to make sure that it's not like rocking around in your box too much. Make sure you hold on to all of this because you're gonna need it if you don't like it and you need to return it because it says to return these things in the original packaging, okay? Typically I'm like, <clears throat> like hold on. Yeah, you wanna, you wanna make sure you hold on to all this, all right? So as far as the colors that I'm working with today, in the foundation, I am 120 or 120, and the concealer, I am shade number eight. I just, I don't understand why companies would name products with curse words in them. Listen, one of my favorite words to say is 
Okay, let's be honest, okay? I use frick a lot too because I have a kid and I have to watch my mouth because if he says it, I know where he got it from. This concealer is named I'm flawless. Why? Well, let's put these babies to the test. I only have some moisturizer that I put on my face before I started this video. If you don't take the packaging off like this, I don't trust you. So I'm going to start off by using a brush. I'm going to take two pumps to the back of my hand. New bottle. All right, here goes nothing. You can see my age spots, okay? My freckles here. I'm hoping that this is a perfect match. So let's go. First swipe. Damn, they're good. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Honestly, I already printed out the return slip and Cause I, I was doubting it already. Okay, all right. What the absolute frick? I'm already out of product on the back of my hand, so I need one, one good juicy one because that last one wasn't enough. So I'm gonna use a little bit more. Put some on my chin, on my nose, on my forehead, making sure that everything has enough product, and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it in. But I want to concentrate. Mostly here where I have my little age spots and freckles. And my age, you know damn well that's not a freckle, that's melasma. Oh my word. And as I'm blending it in, it's actually appearing to like turn a little darker. I can see that it has dried down, I wanna say two, maybe three shades darker than its original application. Now there is a little bit of dewiness, right? You guys saw that. Let's move on to the concealer. On one side, I'm going to be using a brush, and on the other side, I will be using a sponge. And they gave me the option of having a foundation that was either like a perfect match, a shade lighter, or a shade darker. And I picked a shade brighter or lighter. Now we're gonna do the sponge side. I honestly like this side more than I like this side. This side you can still see some of my veins or darkness right under my eyes and here it's a lot brighter. So I'm just going to be adding a little bit more and blending that out with my beauty sponge. Just a bit more and I put a bunch. Okay, so as you guys can see, I was able to layer my concealer and so far, so good. I like the way it's settling into my skin, so I'm gonna add a little bit more of this. The high points of my face is typically where I would put my highlighter. This is gonna create some more brightness in my makeup look as well. So just right on the bridge of my nose and onto my forehead. Um, if I'm crazy, I'll do a little bit more here too because it's going to go with my contour, so why not? You guys, I honestly really like it. Look at the finish too. It's not dewy. I wouldn't call it dewy. I need to add some color for sure because I, I, I'm like flat now because everything is so flawless. Now for the rest of it. I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up and put my makeup on really quick so you guys can see. Okay, and I'm done with my makeup now, so I am going to be running some errands, working on my computer, um, and then I'm gonna come back and give you guys my overall review of how this makeup held up. So far, so good. I'm impressed. This is unbelievable. So after a long day and the light tends to just fluctuate because I'm right in front of my window in my bedroom um, and it's later in the evening, not too late because I think the sun goes down around like 8.30. I was really concerned about underneath my eyes like I had mentioned earlier, but girl, hasn't moved. Did I really just spend 70 something dollars on foundation concealer? I also had to fix my hair because my hair was bothering me. My hair was so, the flyaways were intense and I'm so sorry about that. This is real life. So I'm hoping that all the other brands that carry foundation will have a similar test to determine what 
color you are by giving you this kind of test because it's so helpful to be able to pick the skin tones that you look similar to. I mean, spot on, there's no line here. It doesn't look like I'm wearing a mask. It's not peeling, um, no cracks. I don't feel like insecure about getting close to people or having you guys zoomed into me. That's like the worst. When I go all out and kind of like, I'm feeling myself full glam and I go outside and you're like, Ugh! I'm just really happy with how this turned out. So if you've tried this, let us know, let all of us know who's watching and reading the comments, know how your experience was with this product. Did it work for you? Um, did you get stuck paying the $70 or the cost of just the foundation or just the concealer? Let us know in the comments down below because it's super, super helpful. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.